Good right, Adrian, thank you. The water has receded in downtown Ellicott City, leaving behind a devastating path of destruction. WMAR 2 News, Abby Isaacs is down there working for you tonight. She's live down in the area's hardest hit. Abby, what's it look like down there? Well, police still have Main Street closed as business owners and neighbors come to start assessing that devastating damage. You can even see what looks like part of a house that's just landed in the middle of the street. Uh, to see it torn up again like this, you know, it's, it, it, it does hurt. Not even two years later, a vibrant city once again thrown into turmoil as devastating flooding tore through Ellicott City, forcing lots of people to evacuate. The floor was flooded with water. Uh, water was coming in through the walls. Pat Hyben was eating at a restaurant when it started to fill with water. The waiters was like, no, all the cars in the parking lot are flooded. Thankfully, they were able to get help and get out safely. Like an EMT guy came down and he said, you guys need a ride up the hill. We got a ride up the hill. And then we called a friend of ours and they came and got us. In the middle of the storm, a Baltimore couple on their wedding day they had to relocate to a restaurant and were able to say their I do's before being evacuated again. I married the girl in my dreams. Um, we're just happy everyone's safe. Still trying to get people safe. Uh, it was a chaotic day. Ellicott City was just getting back to normal and actually more businesses were open than before the 2016 flood. It was incredible. Uh, so many of the businesses did come back and some didn't. And now with this happening so close again, we're going to have to watch that all over again. This boutique finally reopened again after closing down in 2016. It's hard to see every time it rains here, the community heart stops. And I just, I don't know what we're going to do, but I can tell you that Ellicott City is the strongest community I've ever been a part of. We're going to rebuild this place the best we can. As the water recedes, a determination has set in yet again to show the world what Ellicott City strong means. It takes a lot of work to come back after something like this, but I think they will. The community will pull together and we'll do it again. The Ellicott City Partnership is collecting donations to help businesses, property owners, and residents rebuild. They collected almost $2 million after the 2016 flooding. We have more information on our website on how to donate. That's WMAR2news.com. Now live in Ellicott City, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2news.